sustainability. Hello students, meet Dhruv and Aditi. Dhruv is teaching Aditi how to make lemonade. To make lemonade, first let us squeeze the lemon to extract its juice in some water. To this, we will add two spoons of sugar and stir it. Look what happens to the sugar, Aditi. Dhruv, I cannot see the sugar anymore. Has it completely mixed with water? Yes, it has. We also can say that the sugar has dissolved in water. Substances that completely dissolve in water are said to be soluble in water. Both solids and liquids can be soluble in water. Similar to sugar, salt, ink and vinegar are also soluble in water. The ability of a substance to dissolve in a liquid is called solubility. Aditi, do you think sand will also get dissolved in water? I don't know. Okay, let's mix sand in water and find out what happens. did not dissolve in water. Yes, so we can say that sand is insoluble in water. Substances that do not dissolve in water are said to be insoluble in water. Both solids and liquids can be insoluble in water. Similar to sand, oil and chalk powder are also insoluble in water. When substances do not dissolve in water, the substance either floats on the surface, for example oil, or it settles at the bottom, for example sand or chalk powder. Now I understand the concept of solubility. Let me summarize it. Substances that completely dissolve in water are said to be soluble in water. The ability of a substance to dissolve in a liquid is called solubility. Substances that do not dissolve in water are said to be insoluble in water.